Hello everyone, I am Dharma Ubanya. I am intern at UB Advocate under the guidance of Jeevan Prakash AOR Supreme Court of India. Today I will be discussing whether the reservation given to EWS category is valid or not. To begin my video, let us understand the rationale behind the reservation. So the underlying rationale behind the reservation was to rectify the injustice against the backward caste and to achieve equality in our country in a time-bound manner. It is to be noted that the reservation was given on the, on the social ground of the community and not the economical ground. After 69 years, the government of India passed a bill to give reservation to economically weaker sections of 10% in higher educational institutions and initial recruiters in government jobs. The reservation was provided to only EWS category and not to SC, ST and OBC. EWS was granted under the recommendation of commission led by Major General S.R. Sinho. It was formed in 2005 and the report was submitted in 2010. Let us now discuss the recent judgment given by Supreme Court of India. So the case is Janit Abhiyan versus Union of India. The petitioner is Janit Abhiyan and the respondent is the Union of India. It was a five judges bench. Let us now discuss judgment given by eight judges. Let us discuss the judgment given by Chief. Let us now discuss the judgment given by Justice Maheshwari. Justice Maheshwari said that Constitutional Amendment 103 is valid and does not violate basic structure of constitution. Let us now discuss the judgment given by Justice Trivedi. Jesse Trivedi said there is need to revisit the reservation policy and it should have time span. Jesse Trivedi also agreed that Constitutional Amendment 103 does not violate the basic structure of Constitution. Let us now discuss judgment given by Justice Pardiwala. While holding amendment valid, he observed that the Reservation cannot go on indefinitely and agreed with Justice Trivedi view to revisit the reservation policy. Let us now discuss the judgment given by Justice Butt. Justice Butt disagreed and said leaving out poor people from SC, ST, OBC from availing benefits under the EWS is discriminatory and violates fundamental right. Chief Justice of India UU Lalit also agreed with Butt and he had a dissenting views. Let us now discuss the major arguments given by petitioner. So the major argument given by the petitioner was that constitutional amendment 103 violates fundamental rights and it also violates the basic structure of constitution as it excludes the people from SC, ST and OBC category. It has also the another major argument given by the petitioner was that it breaches 50% quota. Let us now discuss the argument given by the respondent. So the biggest argument given by the respondent was that it constitutional amendment 103 was passed under in parliament of India. Another major argument given by the respondent is that constitutional amendment 103 includes economic section in the reservation of in the reservation policy to conclude this video the major takeaway from this judgment is to revisit the reservation policy and make important changes thank you